This is the Hot Take Hockey Podcast with your hosts, Lucas and John Viveros. There was heavy rumors that the Oilers were like interested in Travis Konechny. I guess the Flyers are going to make a lot of moves. It seems like that's going mm-hmm. in the direction. Uh, how do you feel about that, man? Because I look at a top six potential of Hyman, McDavid, Konechny, uh, Dreisaitl, Nugent Hopkins, Evander Kane. Kane. That's got to be by far the best top six. And this is not like far-fetched. Like apparently right now the Flyers are like, if you give us like Broberg or Dylan Holloway, like we can get this deal done. I love that for Edmonton. Like in terms of they have the best, they might already have the best top six in the league and that yeah. would just cement it. Right. The thing with Edmonton that's always struck me is that once you get to the third and fourth lines, it, it gets very thin down there. Right. Yeah. So, and they did could, just resign Derek Ryan to a two year deal at Chiefs, which was so a good deal. That was a very good deal. steel. Yeah. But they could use that money and, and potentially, you know, find some guys to, to, to bolster the third and fourth lines as opposed to connect me. Yeah. Um, but as far as, as far as does that make them a better team? Absolutely. And that makes them a, a real pain in the ass to play against. Right. When you have yeah. to go up against Hyman, connect me, Vander Kane, like the way those guys play, damn, that would be, that would be tough. Um, so uh, overall thoughts, I like it, but I think that their third and fourth line definitely is where the priority should be because once the, when the Oilers have their top six on every team in the league is scared. Yeah, third and fourth lines come on. That's where teams capitalize on them, I feel like. Yeah, for sure. And I was going to say, uh, just in terms of the Broberg conversation, I think a lot of teams, yeah. um, because young, like up and coming defense are not easy to come by. I was going to say the one thing that, and I know you're not, you haven't been a big fan of him recently. I, we didn't really discuss it, but I don't want to go too much into it. Is Lilligren. I wonder if Lilligren's also a trade piece for Toronto this offseason. Um, so I don't want to skip past that. We'll, we'll talk about that on a different I think, pod. I think it's do or die with him. Yeah, we can get into another pod. I think it's do or die with him. This this year's got to be the year he he cements himself on the Leafs or or they're dealing him. I mean, it's one or the other. Yeah, so maybe if there's a trade for the Leafs, Lilligren. But the trade I had down for Edmonton, the mock trade that I just created, was Edmonton's 2024 first, maybe an additional pick. Broberg, Fogel, Yamamoto. That money matches up to get Konechny. So yeah, it's got to be that right because we just talked about Scott Lawton getting a first a D, a, a B level prospect. We'll call Robertson. I mean, he's not really a prospect, anymore, yeah. but a B level potential and and uh, and a roster player. So definitely, Konechny would command more than that. So yeah, I would think I that it's got to be built around the first and Broberg for sure yeah. for Konechny. All right, uh, well, let's just I'll bring it up quickly, uh, just quickly to go over uh, free agency list. Uh, I know we've talked about it, so just some early predictions. And uh, I do have a hot take just before I bring this up. I do think you talked about Patch Reddy. I'll throw in uh, Duran to that conversation too, because the guy that I think could get a really cheap deal, like one or two million, and and maybe break out in a different system. Duran, former teammate with Nate McKinnon in junior, I've been shouting that out for a while. I will say this, man, I am very confident Colorado, if they play their cards right, will end up with one of Patch Reddy or Duran in the offseason, maybe both, because no Landeskog. Uh, they obviously need to figure out contract stuff too. Um, we'll see what Bowen Byram gets long-term at this, at, at some point here, if they want to extend Devon Taves, he's only got one year left. So they got to figure that those things out. Um, I can, I can see them going for those cheap. They did it with Evan Rodriguez this past off season. I think they're going to go for cheap deals like that. Uh, just to bring up a little top 20, top 24, if you're not including 